When I was 15 years old, I was kidnapped in the middle of the night by two hired escorts and taken to a behavioral modification program in Thompson Falls, Montana. My parents were desperate to get me treatment and the best help possible, and so they followed the recommendations of teen help. But treatment is not what I got. Abuse and trauma is. While there, I witnessed or experienced unnecessary restraints, physical abuse, medical abuse and neglect, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, and psychological torture. The most confusing component of my treatment was the attack therapy and the monthly seminars that I was forced to attend. During these seminars, I was forced to beat the floor with a towel as staff members screamed degrading comments at me. I was forced to reenact these role play situations and tell my peers to die. I had to have my own funeral and write my own eulogy. I had to take accountability for my past trauma and reenact it in a room full of people. Everything about it was traumatic and harmful, but failure to complete the seminars resulted in being sent to the worksheet room. In the worksheet room, I would have to sit on a wooden block and listen to self-help tapes over and over again until I could pass tests on them. Sometimes I was in the worksheet room for 18 hours a day. The reason why I'm speaking out is because none of this is evidence-based treatment. All of these processes and experiences lead back to cult teachings and brainwashing techniques. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Why are we still using this on our youth today? This industry needs reform. People have found a way to profit off of child abuse and nobody is stopping it because of the shame associated with telling our stories. And when a survivor speaks out, they are blamed. I'm telling my story so there will not have to be a next generation that does. I'm telling my story so we can reform and get evidence-based treatments for our most vulnerable youth. My name is Jenna Bulis, and I'm breaking code silence.